Carpe Seuss, Carl, Nathan, Dave, and I continued our night getting onto this fourth group of hogs. This was in a very large field. When we approached, we had one hog off to the left. The others are in the other direction, 180 degrees behind us. So the decision was made to shoot this hog first with the hopes that the others would run around and circle behind us in order to exit the field, which is exactly what happened. Now the wind is blowing directly at this hog, so I'm surprised it's not running away from us. It goes down, and we reposition into the other direction. And here come the hogs. Not enough lead on those shots. Moving behind the bale. That last hog was still alive when we walked up on it. So we did a coup de gras shot. We recovered two sows and one boar, the boar being the first hog that we shot with the shot just below and behind the ear, but it exited on the other side in two different places. We were about ready to call it a night when we came across this last group of hogs. We made a fairly long stalk on them. The wind was in our favor so we were able to get fairly close. We had a limited field to fire. And so we each selected our hogs and got ready for the countdown. Three, two, one. You're going left. You got two coming up from the left right now. There you go. Alright, so you see. Oh, I got one way out there. You want to see? Safe. Unfortunately, this last hog made it into the bottoms on, and escaped. We recovered three sows, the largest of which was 255 pounds. She was pregnant, as was one of the smaller sows that had four on board. Optics provided by Third Coast Thermal. Carpe Seuss, my friends.